Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Crystal Sky. I'm so honored and so grateful for each and every one of you that have already subscribed to this channel. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe, like the video, and become a part of this journey with us. We are growing a community here on this YouTube space of free, beautiful Mustangs, free, beautiful spirits. And I would love for you to come along as we grow our community and join together in just having a really wonderful, positive environment to come and hang out with me. So I am a business owner. I am an entrepreneur. I am a business consultant. I'm a success coach, spiritual journey facilitator, spiritual lover. I am a positive, powerful manifester and a bunch of knowledge in law of attraction that I would love to share with you guys and so much more. I actually own a healing and horse riding center as well. And I have clients from all over the world, which I'm ever so grateful to. So that being said, I feel that I have a bunch of experience that I would love to share with you. I am still constantly learning and I believe that as humans, we are always going to be learning forever. So none of us know everything, but the knowledge and the experiences that we do have, I would love to share them with you to help you become the best versions of you. I am also a sound bath musician, which I do love. I am a singer and I am a dancer as well, but not that kind of dancing. Um, and I compose contemporary piano music as well. So those are some of the things that I really love and that I share and that I work with with my clients and incorporate in our sessions in our work. I think that music and sound is so important for us. And I think that just knowing what you love and letting yourself express what you love is something very powerful. That being said, I want to talk a little bit today about something that I think can help many people in their lives. And that's what I want to do is I always come from a place of service. That is something that I'm called to do. That is something that I know is in me that I have to do. It's something that I love and am passionate to do is come from a place of service. I love when I can see my clients become better and successful and really elevate their careers or elevate their personal lives. So one of my favorite things to do is share with you guys things that I believe can really help you become the best version of yourself. So that being said, what is the topic that I wanted to talk about today? That topic is letting yourself understand that you are so powerful that you are able to open up closed doors and welcome positive opportunities. What does that even mean? It literally means those things of closed doors, maybe opening them up. But metaphorically as well, we see things sometimes either in business or just with people having limiting beliefs. When we change our subconscious limiting beliefs, you can do this through meditation, you could do this through journaling, you can do this through sound bath, you can even do it through horseback riding. Yes, you really can. It's amazing how um, horseback riding can really change lives in a positive way. You don't even have to ride the horse, you can just go out and do groundwork with them, but horses are very powerful. That's why I call them my master horses when people come here and work with us. But one of the things that I am such a firm believer on is looking at your limiting beliefs and then try to do some things that will change those limiting beliefs into unlimiting beliefs, changing them to positive beliefs and powerful manifestation, law of attraction. One of the biggest things that I have learned through this uh, experience and, and becoming a positive, powerful manifester, and I'm able to teach others, is that... One of the things is, is you first address some of the limiting beliefs that you do have. You might write them down. You might talk to a friend, a therapist, whatever you may. And you start to look and see what is it that is keeping some blockages to your success or positive, powerful opportunities as well. You start looking at things. And as you start looking at them, you start saying, you know, I didn't know I had this belief, but I'm going to change it. Does it happen overnight? Some people it does, some people it doesn't. Some people it takes practice and discipline. Law of attraction manifestation is a discipline. It is an art form. It is a dedication and it's a practice that we must implement on a daily basis so that as you practice, you become better at it. So my thing is, is looking at your limiting beliefs, changing them, right? But the other thing that I wanted to really talk about is 
looking at the closed doors and then figuring out a way to open them. Just don't taking, just not taking no for an answer, not taking a closed door for an answer. However, how do you balance out when you should walk away or when you should open the door? Now, some closed doors like bad relationships, past things that are no longer serving you. Yeah, you don't want to open up those doors again, right? But I'm talking about powerful opportunities. And what I mean by that is you'll know if that is a door that is for you to open or a door for you to leave and look at another door that's better than the closed door. Yes, it's true. One closed door There'll always be another door that's better for you than the closed door. And the biggest thing that I tell people when I am working with them, and I even implement this in my own life, is do things that no others will do. Being able to come from a place of service and doing what others may not be willing to do. Let's give a little bit of an example of this, okay? So, um... This is a very powerful, powerful tip and, and a very powerful move for you. And so I was reading this book a while back and it was a really great book on podcasting and things like that. And I've always taught to go beyond, right? Do things that no other people will do because that's a success. If you're willing to do something and go beyond and, and bend, you know, and, and just really amplify your customer service and building a relationship with people, they will come back and they will feel that the business that they're doing with you is really important and that there's meaning in it. So I was reading this book and it came and I actually saw it written in this book. And I thought to myself, how amazing that I've always been implementing this style of belief and here in this book, this gentleman that wrote the podcasting book is mentioning it within the first three pages. So I was really excited about it, but I loved his example. This is not my example. This is the author's example um, about podcasting, but his example for doing things that no one else will do. He said that when he was younger, he was very poor and he came from um, you know, a family that, that had some, some issues with finances. But what he did is he got a job that his friend got doing newspaper routes and things like that. But he found a way to open up a door to making more money just through newspaper routes. He was 16 years old and the money he was making was enough money to buy his first car. So how did he go beyond just by doing this paper route? So in the book, he describes that he found a way to go more, to, to go well beyond the customer service about what others were doing. Other newspaper routes were just throwing the newspaper and um, you know, that was that, got it delivered, got the job done, got the payment. But what he started doing is he started throwing the paper. Then he started noticing the, the people that would be waiting for the paper. So he would stop for a minute, talk to him, say, how's your day, blah, 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 built a relationship. Then on cold days, snowy days, rainy days, things like that, windy days, he would go a step further and actually go and place the newspaper underneath a covered area or deliver it in a way that the newspaper would no longer get ruined through the storm or rain or whatever uh, dynamic of the weather that it was doing. And so the people were so appreciative that he went the extra mile that they started leaving tips for him and he was getting tips. So not only was he getting paid from his newspaper job, but he was now getting tips from his people that he built a relationship with and went the extra mile. He did something that the other newspaper route people would not do. So that is what I'm talking about, going that extra mile, doing things that nobody else will do. I'll give you another example in my life. So, um, you know, in my business and my businesses that I do, I do a dynamic of things. And um, one of the things is, is I have an amazing a group of clients that I'm so grateful for. I'm always accepting new ones, so you're always welcome to come work with me if you like. I would love to have you join. Um, but I have an amazing group of clients. And what I've developed with my clients is a strong relationship. 
and I go that extra mile. I do things that no other consultant will do. I go well and beyond what no other horse, uh, you know, facilitator will do or spiritual journey, spiritual journey facilitator. And that is I build a relationship of friendship. So I build a relationship where people can feel comfortable enough to tell me things. And I'll give you a great example in my own life. And this just happened a few days ago, so it's perfect. It's a fresh example. It's not outdated from, you know, 38 years ago. So um, I have this client who is absolutely amazing. And they're going through our program of our sacred journey. And they're really taking the time to just really open up and really be ready to receive. So we've been doing a dynamic of exercises and the weather here has been a little bit cold. We've gotten some heavy snow. And so it's been a little bit colder. Um, and so she hasn't had the chance to really come, but we did some Zoom and things like that. Um, but anyway, she called me, I think it was, you know, a few days ago in the evening and she said, do you have a moment to speak? And I said, of course I do. So I talked to her about some things, personal things that were going on. These things that were going on is really amazing because they're for her. They're for her to get to that next level. So she's really opening up herself to receiving some really great things and amazing things are coming for her. But she had to clear up this one little issue. And I said, this is amazing that this is happening right now because what it's doing is it's allowing you to clear up some things that you need to do so that you can get to your next level of success. And we talked and, you know, I gave her some feedback and I sat and I just gave her my ears. I actually just listened and was there for her in that moment. And when we were getting off the call, she said, I feel so much better now that we had talked and I just feel so much better. And um, she said, thank you. And um, she said, you know, I know your time is very valuable and you spent over an hour and a half with me on the phone for free. And I didn't charge her. I didn't charge her a session. I just was there for her. And she literally told me, she said, you know, other people that I've worked with in different things, not specifically this, but in other things, she's like, they don't do that. She's like, I couldn't just call somebody and, you know, them give me an hour and a half of their own time to talk to me and hear me out and help me through the dynamics that I needed. And she said, forever grateful for that. And I am so, so thankful because I care about my clients and I wanna be there for my clients. Yes, they do pay me for certain services, but I also go that extra mile and whenever they need somebody to talk to, you know, they have that support system. And so I go that extra mile by being able to, yes, have my clients and they do pay me for things, but I'm also there in case they need those ears at times when they feel like they're stuck or they feel a little overwhelmed and sometimes just talking to them and talking them through some things, they realize that the situation isn't as big as it seems. It's actually a blessing in disguise because it's meant to happen for them to elevate their success. So my thing is to you, whether it being starting a YouTube channel, a podcast, whether you're an actor, a business owner, a house, uh, you know, wife or house husband or whatever it is that you're doing in your life, go the extra mile for your best success. Now, there's a very important phrase here that I'm going to, there's a very important side note here. Don't do it to the point where you're bending yourself over backwards and you're actually losing money, okay? So you don't wanna go the opposite of extreme of being so much of service and so much bending over backwards that you know people start to um, you know, uh, go a little bit overboard and, and start to not appreciate what you're doing. So the side note is, is learning your balance learning the balance with people, being able to be coming from a place of service, being able to support, being able to go the extra mile for your clients, but don't going, don't go so big with this that you're consumed with making sure that everybody else is taken care of, but you're not getting paid for it. 
So there's, there's definitely a balance, know that balance. And I wanted to give you that side note because I don't want you to think, oh, she said to be so much of service and you know, go the extra mile and do things that other people won't do. And now I have no money because here I am spending most of my time donating it for free. So no, there is a balance. But what I am saying is, is don't be such a stickler on your business or you know, being a housewife or house husband and not listen to your clients, not listen to your partner, not listen to your spouse. Um, you know, take the time to build a relationship, take the time to know the balance and take the time to know that if a door is closed, something better will be coming along. Another door will open and that door is going to have an amazing amount of opportunity that you never thought you would even have. And then from that door, other doors start appearing and just stuff starts rolling in. There's a huge momentum that comes from it. So if one door's closed, you can either figure out how to open it, or if you know, you know what, maybe this isn't for me, maybe it's closed for a reason, let me look at another door and see if I can open that one. Or if a door's open, you just walk right through, right? There might be one door that's completely closed and you're trying, trying to open, leave it alone because there's gonna be another door for you that's gonna be wide open. And when you go through that door, you're gonna see all of the magical, powerful, successful opportunities that you've always wanted. And from there, it just keeps getting better because you're building momentum. So I hope that this video has served you in some way. I am very grateful to each and every one of you. And again, I am just wanting each and every one of you to become the best versions of yourself. And me being such a powerful lover of watching people succeed, I am just excited to watch each and every one of you succeed. And that's why I come from a place of service and I really hope that this video has served you guys in some way or another, whether it being entertainment or whether it being food for thought or whether it being implementation in your own life. But no matter what it is, no, you're not alone. You have a community here. We're growing this community, which I'm epically excited about. Um, and yeah, so celebrate all your wins and victories, no matter how small or big they might be. They all deserve to be celebrated. Know that we love you on this channel. Leave some comments down below of some, I don't know, some stories about maybe something better had come along and, and the doors were opening for you and you, you caught momentum and now you're on top of the world. I'd love to hear those success stories and other people want to hear success stories from you as well. So as we're building this community, it's very important to, to, to get on here as well and, and be active with the comments of uh, positive comments of sharing your success stories because we have a video here. People will like it, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, subscribing, all these wonderful things, right? But it's not just me on this platform, you guys, it's you too. So even though you guys are not in the video with me, but people are watching the video, people are looking at these comments. So when they're looking at these comments, they're looking at inspiration. And so if you have a story very similar to what we're talking about in this video, share it. I'd love to hear it. People would love to hear it. Don't hide, be visible. Love you guys. Thank you so much. So grateful. And uh, yeah. Namaste. Mwah.